Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. It doesn't take a genius to figure out where this could be heading. For a moment, I would like for you to imagine a rather chilling fictional scenario. Not too far in the future, all global citizens are required to possess proper digital identification, or else they will not be permitted to access the new global digital financial system. Central banks all over the world have rolled out their new central bank digital currencies, but in order to use those currencies, you must prove that you are who you say you are, and the only way to do that is, with the new global system of digital identification that has been introduced. As cash is phased out, those that resist being part of the new global system, are increasingly pushed to the outer fringes of society. Hardly anyone is willing to employ them any longer, and they are looked down upon by much of the general population. And then after the vast majority of the global population has willingly signed up for the new global system of digital identification, it is announced that the system will now become mandatory. That means that anyone that does not submit will not be able to buy, sell, get a job, or have a bank account. You may think that I am exaggerating the dangers of a global system of digital identification. I wish that I was. Once a global system of digital identification is introduced, it will rapidly become our most important form of identification. It will become more important than your driver's license and more important than your social security number. Pretty quickly, it would become required for almost every financial transaction that you make online. A lot of people may think that would be a good thing. After all, there are so many scammers and thieves on the internet these days. And I would agree that there is a need for more financial security on the internet, but I am 100% against any type of global digital identification system, because the potential for tyranny would be off the charts. Unfortunately, that is exactly the type of system that is now being proposed by policymakers at the United Nations. In a May 2023 policy brief, entitled A Global Digital Compact, An Open, Free and Secure Digital Future for All, we are told that an open, free, secure and human-centered digital future is absolutely critical for the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals. The present brief proposes the development of a global digital compact that would set out principles, objectives and actions for advancing an open, free, secure and human-centered digital future one that is anchored in universal human rights and that enables the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals. It outlines areas in which the need for multi-stakeholder digital cooperation is urgent and sets out how a global digital compact can help to realize the commitment in the Declaration on the Commemoration of the 75th Anniversary of the United Nations, General Assembly Resolution 75-1, to shaping a shared vision on digital cooperation by providing an inclusive global framework such a framework is essential for the multi-stakeholder action required to overcome digital data and innovation divides and to achieve the governance required for a sustainable digital future. Most people in the general population would not be too alarmed after reading that introductory paragraph. But as they say, the devil is in the details. If you go to page 8 of the policy brief, you will find the section where a system of digital identification, linked with bank or mobile money accounts, is proposed. Digital IDs linked with bank or mobile money accounts can improve the delivery of social protection coverage and serve to better reach eligible beneficiaries. Digital technologies may help to reduce leakage, errors and costs in the design of social protection programs. I briefly mentioned this the other day. But I don't think that most people understood the implications that this has for all of us. Under such a system, if your social credit score gets too low, you could be put in digital jail for a certain period of time. 
your digital privileges would be suspended for a while, and that would mean that you could not buy, sell, or live your normal life for the duration of your punishment. Of course if you insist on being a repeat offender enough times, you could have your digital privileges revoked permanently. What would you do then? You wouldn't be able to buy or sell anything. You wouldn't be able to get a job. You wouldn't be able to have a bank account. At best, you would be a total outcast from society. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Don't be fooled into thinking that this sort of a system is a long way off. Three months from now, the European Union will mandate that all member states offer a digital identity wallet to every single one of their citizens and businesses. The European Union will mandate digital identity under EIDAS 2.0, which will go into effect in September 2023, and ensure all member states offer a digital identity wallet, or DIW, to citizens and businesses. According to the European Commission, at least 80% of citizens should be able to use a digital ID solution to access key public services by 2030. Initially, participation by individuals and businesses in the EU system will be voluntary. But over the past few years, we have seen how quickly voluntary measures can become mandatory. When I say that we are living in one of the most critical times in all of human history, I am not joking. There is a reason why the UK, the EU and the US are all getting ready to roll out CBDCs. And there is a reason why digital identification has suddenly become such a hot issue. They really do want to build a digital prison for all of us, and if you plan to object the time, to do so is now. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.